Hello friends. We will be discussing about Paget's disease of breast today. Introduction. What is Paget's disease actually? Paget's disease of breast is a superficial manifestation of an underlying breast carcinoma, most commonly ductal carcinoma. It presents as an eczema-like condition of nipple and areola, which persists despite local treatment. It may progress to an ulcerated vaping lesion. Redness, scaling, and flaking of nipple suggest underlying breast carcinoma in some cases of Paget's disease. Now, pathology. Paget's disease is characterized by the presence of large ovoid cells, clear cytoplasm staining with round nuclei and large nucleoli. These cells are present in malfeasion layer of epidermis. Paget's cells do not invade dermal basement membrane. They spread into the lactiferous sinus under the nipple to invade the underlying epidermis. IHC markers are epithelial membrane antigen positive, carcinoembryonic antigen positive. Now, the clinical presentation of a patient with Pegas disease usually present with eczematous changes in the nipple and surrounding skin. 50% have palpable mass. Most patients with Pegas have an underlying ductal carcinoma, which can be invasive or in situ. How you are going to diagnose the patient of Pegas disease of breast? First of all, diagnosis can be reached by triple assessment. That is clinical examination, pathological examination, and radiological examination. Biopsy showing Paget cells is diagnostic. The management part of Paget's disease, most commonly performed procedure in this case is simple mastectomy. Other options are wide excision of nipple and areola to achieve a clear margin plus radiotherapy plus axillary dissection. Now various pearls of wisdom. Pagus disease should be differentiated from number one, eczema. How are you going to differentiate? Eczema involves the areola first and the nipple second. There is the Pagus disease, it involves the nipple first and then areola. Eczema is usually bilateral. In melanoma, IHC marker CEA is negative. So guys, thank you for watching my video regarding Pagus disease. For more medical related videos or surgical related, you can watch my channel and subscribe it.